In our feature segment today, Mississippi Honey, Broke Tea Honey of Philadelphia and Prairie Blossom Bee Farm of Mayhew are seeing great success after making the most of the educational resources offered by the Mississippi State University Extension Service. By remaining updated on the latest information and beekeeping practices, these two operations are maximizing their business efficiency. Farm Week's Amy Taylor first brought us this story last fall. As consumers learn more about the positive effects of natural food products and shopping locally, two Mississippi businesses are striving to enhance the quality of their honey products. Owners and operators of Broke Tea Honey in Philadelphia, along with Prairie Blossom Bee Farm, located in Mayhew, say the knowledge they gain from Mississippi State University Extension Service helps their businesses thrive. MSU Extension apiculturist Dr. Jeff Harris explains the services offered. So we do a little bit of everything, workshops, um, presentations to beekeeping groups, um, a lot of training. We also are in the, uh, making uh, <clears throat> literature that will be distributed for beekeepers so on, on how to handle some of the new problems like the varroa mite and the small hive beetle. Uh, we're working on that now. Uh, so we do written literature and education, we do on-hands education and workshops, and then I do one-on-one -on -one with beekeepers a lot. Additionally, Dr. Harris says research is being conducted to develop pest-resistant bees that can stand up to the varroa mite. Johnny Thompson runs Broke Tea Honey with his parents, Kenneth and Joan, in Philadelphia, where they sell natural honey and queen bees for breeding. It's difficult to briefly explain the process of beekeeping, but Thompson gives a quick summary of how a hive operates. There's three types of bees in every hive. You've got the, uh, the, the workers are all females, the queen is female, but the queen is the only one that's able to lay eggs. So she, she lays all the eggs, does all the reproduction for the hive. Uh, the males are the drones and they're, they're there just to uh, mate with any queen. In order to grow the queen, Thompson says the fertilized cell of the bee is placed in what's called a nuke. When we put a queen cell in that uh, nuke, she hatches, emerges the next day and stays in that nuke three weeks. She will go out and mate, can't come back, start laying and three weeks later, we will go in and take that queen out of that uh, nuke, uh, marker, cager, sail her, and then the next day put a queen sail back in and start that cycle over again. Thompson says because broke tea honey bees are not exposed to any chemically treated plants, the honey is as natural as it gets. Mark Lewis, who owns and operates Prairie Blossom at Bee Farm with his wife Carrie, says watching bees cure the honey is fascinating and explains the harvesting process. They cure it to a 17% moisture, and when they get the moisture correct, they put a wax cap on it. And once they've capped an entire frame and then they've capped an entire box, I take that whole box with me to the uh, house to be harvested and you can cut the caps off with a knife or you can scrape them off with a, uh, what they call a decapping tool. And once you take them off, you put them in like a centrifuge that spins it around, you, you orient them to the sides and it just, the centrifugal force uh, spins the honey out. The honey flows to the bottom of the tank. You run it through a filter and you're done. Lewis says local honey makes a great gift and local soap products are also produced at Prairie Blossom Bee Farm. Kenneth Thompson with Broke Tea says one of the unique yeah. aspects of selling honey is the fact that no two jars of honey are exactly the same shade of color. Well, it depends on what the bees are collecting. Uh, different flowers give off a different uh, uh, shades of nectar. So uh, that, that nectar then when it, it, when it turns into honey, when it's dried down to the honey, uh, it's, it's all different colors. Thompson says Broke Tea sells a spring, summer, and fall honey. Additionally, Joan Thompson says there are health benefits involved in eating pure honey. Well, one of your benefits is it's one of your best antibiotics. I've had people come that said they had gone to doctors for years for their sinus and allergies, and since they've been eating the honey, they haven't been to the doctor in two years. And each year we do what we call ag in the classroom, which we uh, do uh, in the north, central, and southern parts of the state in June. 
Uh, we go in, we teach the teachers so they can teach the children where their food comes from. Thompson says honey is also a healthy and natural sugar substitute for cooking. In addition to selling honey, she also started making lip balm from leftover beeswax. When asked about his views on the fear of bee populations dying out, Kenneth Thompson says he isn't worried. Bees have been with us since uh, the beginning of time and they're going to continue to be with us. It's just uh, there's, there's bumps in the road and going to continue to be bumps in the road. But there's going to be people that can handle it and take care of them. And uh, they're going to they, they're going, they're going make it. As demand increases for natural, locally produced food sources, Broke Tea Honey, Prairie Blossom Bee Farm, and Mississippi State University Extension Service say they look forward to being part of a movement that helps generate a healthy population for our bees. I'm Amy Taylor reporting. You can watch this feature story on Prairie Blossom Bee Farm and Broke Tea Honey again on our Farm Week website, Facebook page, or YouTube. We'll have their contact information as well as their on our webpage, which is farmweek.msucares.com. And of course, Broke Tea Honey and Prairie Blossom, you can get their products via their website, but Broke Tea Honey is also now in the Whole Foods store in Jackson.